Hey gang, Jerry here. In today's project, we're going to make a paper towel holder. So stick around. I went over to my scrap bin and I found a piece of oak that I could use for today's project. Now a paper towel roll, a full roll, is just under 6 inches in diameter. So I'm going to make the base 6 inches by 6 inches. I first ripped the cut to 6 inches and now I'm using my crosscut sled. I'm going to finish off the piece to 6, inch, six inches square. Now I don't want sharp corners on the base, so I grab my half inch radius gauge and now I'm marking a radius on all four corners. After marking all four corners, now I've moved over to my disc sander and I'm simply going to sand up to my layout line on all four corners. Now I want to round over the top and bottom edges of the base. So I've moved over to my router table and I've installed a quarter inch round over bit. And I'm simply just going to run the piece through my router table to ease all the edges. The base is pretty much finished at this point. I'm just going to give it a good sanding all the way up to 320 grit. Now for some finish. I've chosen a Minwax Golden Oak stain for this base. I use this stain for most of the projects in our home. I really like the way it goes on. Once the stain is dry, I'll move over to a Minwax wipe on poly polyurethane in a satin finish. I'll apply three coats of the polyurethane with a light sanding in between coats and the base will be done. I made a drying rack out of four little pieces of scrap wood that I simply ran a screw through. This is a really neat way to let your project sit and dry while you're waiting to put on the next coat. Now for the stand itself. Just three pieces of pipe, all in half inch, a half inch flange, a 12 inch piece of pipe, and a half inch cap. Here I'm just wiping all the oil off the parts with a lacquer thinner applied to a rag. Once the parts were clean, time for some assembly. Simply just screw everything together and tighten it down nice and snug, and that's it. Now here I'm going to apply a couple coats of paint to the stand. And using an SEM metal etching primer in flat black. I'll apply a couple of coats of this primer on the stand, and that'll be it. Now back to the base. I purchased some rubber feet from my local hole setter. I'm just going to simply pull one of the feet out of the package and put it on the base to mark the location to pre-drill some holes for the mounting screws. Now with a brad point bit mounting in my drill press, that's slightly smaller than the screws themselves. I'm going to drill a pilot hole in all four corners. Now just a matter of screwing the feet to the bottom of the base.
Now for the stand itself, I'll simply center it on the base, mark the location for some pilot holes, move it over to the drill press, and drill some pilot holes in the same manner. Now it's time for some final assembly. Simply take the stand and line it up with the pilot holes that we just drilled on the drill press. Run the screws down and the towel stand will be done. So that's it for this one. Uh, the paper towel holder will probably live in this area in our home. Um, if the kitchen counter ever gets wet, it's on rubber feet, so there's no fear of any water getting on the wood. And the nice thing is it's portable. Um, we can move it to our dining room table if we need, need to, or we can take it outside to the picnic table or on the deck, uh, wherever we need, obviously, paper towel. Again, a really easy project that you can make at home. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up button. Click on that bell so you never miss a new upload. And remember, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. All right, guys, take care. See ya.